maida or all purpose flour 2 cups instant yeast about 1 teaspoon half teaspoon of sugar half teaspoon salt olive oil about 2 tablespoon lukewarm water about 1 cup for toppings today i'm using green capsicum it's one fourth capsicum i have cut it into long strands like this red capsicum this is also one fourth capsicum some mushrooms and some black olives these are two mushrooms one tablespoon of black olives and this is pizza sauce i have made this pizza sauce by using normal sauces we use at home a tablespoon of ketchup or tomato sauce i've added two tablespoon of hot chili sauce some oregano some pepper powder and pinch of salt shredded mozzarella cheese about one cup let's start making dough for pizza now let's start making pizza dough first Mix all the dry ingredients. I'm putting this yeast, salt and sugar in all purpose flour. As I'm using this instant variety of yeast, we don't need to mix it with water and keep it for 10 minutes. We can directly add to the flour. Add olive oil. I'm adding about 1 tablespoon of olive oil here. Make sure this oil cover all the flour better to use your hand now mix it nicely with your hands Move all the lumps now slowly add this warm water this is just a warm water not very hot this is to activate the yeast if you make it very hot it will kill the yeast and it will not activate properly the proper fermentation we need to add only warm water here. This is one cup of water I'm adding to, to mix all the dry flour. Now we need to keep this dough for resting. For before keeping it for resting, we need to knead it properly. It will help us to activate the yeast properly and give us nice fermentation. This was perfect quantity for water and all-purpose flour. I have taken two cups of all-purpose flour and one cup of warm water. Now I will add little oil on the top. And cover this dough with a clean foil. And keep this dough for fermentation in a warm place. You need to let this dough ferment for about one to one and a half hour. You have to keep this in a warm place for fermenting. And this is very important to get this crust in your pizza base. After about one hour of fermentation, this base is ready. You can see as it is increased double the size now. Let's roll the pizza now. It's very important to knead this dough before rolling it. This dough is ready. As you can see, this bounces back. I'm going to add some dry flour on the rolling egg surface. And just roll this pizza base. Give it uniform thickness on all the sides. I have given this much thickness to this pizza. After baking, it will be about double the size of this thickness. I will transfer this pizza base into this baking tray. I have put some oil on this baking tray to transfer this pizza base. Add on all the sauces and toppings on this. This is a mixture of all sauces, tomato ketchup, chili sauce, black pepper powder, oregano and pinch of salt now i'm going to 
spread this sauce over it first. I'll put this mushrooms. Spread them evenly so that with every bite of pizza you can taste mushroom. This green bell pepper or green capsicum. Red bell pepper. Pizza is looking lovely and colorful and this mozzarella cheese put generous amount of mozzarella cheese and finally on the top this black olives I am arranging these olives like this looking lovely the combination and the variety of vegetables pizza is ready now let's bake it you can bake this pizza in oven preheat oven for 420 degrees for about 10 minutes and then bake this pizza for about 10 to 15 time will be depend on your own also always better to check in between i'll be showing you how to bake pizza in gas oven which has flame i have started preheating this gas oven i have switched on the lower flame and I'm preheating it for 10 to 15 minutes on a higher flame. Then I will reduce the flame and keep this pizza for baking for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then I will switch off lower flame and I'll start upper flame and then I'll bake it again for 10 minutes. How to check the crust in between? That is most important. My gas oven is preheating pre for 10 to 15 minutes now. I have switched on the lower flame. I'll put this pizza on the middle rack. I will load the flame now. So that the pizza base gets evenly baked and let it bake for about 10 minutes and then we'll check. After 10 minutes, let's check pizza base. As you can see, this pizza base is rising now. After 5 minutes more, let's check the pizza. Base is cooking properly. Now I will switch off lower flame and I will start uh, upper flame. One thing to remember while putting on upper flame is that flame should be always on a low fire. Otherwise you will burn your cheese. I switch on upper flame now. Now I will bake it for 10 minutes more. After 10 minutes, let's check the pizza now. Yes, you can see the brown cheese. Now let's switch off the gas. This pizza is ready. Take this pizza on the counter. Now let's cut this pizza. It looks so delicious. 